Hi guys, welcome back. So the first time I showed you the test ruler that I did on wood, now this one is being done on acrylic. As you can see, the laser is going over it. I made the lines a little bit deeper and thinner so that way this would hold paint because if it's clear, then it's a little harder to see unless you're holding it up against something that is dark. So what I did was I filled in the inside of these lines with paint now yours will if you decide to order it because I am going to put it on my shop yours will come clear and then before you take the tape off which is the masking then you would want to fill it in with acrylic paint and then let it dry and then pull the tape off so once you pull the tape off then it will reveal the numbers you know for the measurements or you can just leave the masking on and use it that way if you wanted to but the clear I do personally like better than the wood because I can see what I'm measuring behind it which makes it a little bit easier if I'm going to end up using it for something that I need to see the exact area that I'm in now as far as this ruler goes it measures, in case you didn't see the other video, it measures in one twelve scale. So as you all know, one inch equals a foot in miniature. That gets to be very, very confusing to people. I'm not sure if they have a hard time with um, converting it or if it's just to me in the beginning, it was like, what do you mean an inch is a foot? That was a very strange concept for me to get when I first started out. So what I've done is I have taken all of the measurements that have like one inch equals a foot, one or two inches equals two foot, and then, you know, three inches, six inches, and so on, are in on this ruler. So you can see the difference. Now, this ruler will make it easier for you to actually measure so like in the last video I showed you three inches on a regular standard ruler is three feet on this ruler so if you needed a three foot table then you would use this ruler and it would automatically be there you wouldn't have to guess about it or anything if you need it three and a half foot then this ruler would have an option where you could go three feet six inches so then you can compare the two to your ruler the measurements should line up perfectly and then you can see the difference for yourself however um, I'm gonna let this finish cutting out and then I'll show you the way that I painted it so you can get an idea if that's something you want to do with it as well but I will place this on my Etsy shop and then you will be able to purchase it and I'll also place it on my store um, once I finish setting that up because I'm gonna be moving everything from my Etsy shop to my actual store on my website.
Okay, so I just finished. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here. And you guys can see how it says 11 feet and then 12 feet and so on. And it goes down. And then the little tiny stuff on the left, that you can't really tell in the image, but that's the smaller measurements. And then they'll show up once we paint it or once you remove the film. So this is a little bit of acrylic paint and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of blotting it on top of the masking. This is something that you will need to do if you want black numbers or you can use yellow or whatever. Um, I would probably use a lighter color because when you're putting it on darker surfaces it's hard to see. But as you can see it's drying and you can see how that filled in those areas. And the masking just pulls off, but you want to make sure it's completely dry by the time you finish it. Don't ask me what I'm doing here. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I kept looking. I, oh, I think I'm looking at the rulers. Yeah, so that was the wood rulers, and then this is the acrylic rulers. Or the acrylic ruler, I should say. And you can see the smaller numbers now that they're painted a lot clearer. But I'm going to flip this over and stick it on here so you can kind of get a better idea a bit close up. And hopefully you can see it. Now, I have old eyes, so, you know, with wearing glasses since I was a child, it's hard for me to see those numbers. But um, it still gives you the numbers so that you can kind of see where you're at. And that's just sitting on top of the ruler. Okay, so as you can see, when I flip it over, the numbers came out pretty clear. And that's with the acrylic paint. And I just used cheap acrylic paint, blotted it in there really, really well. Um, I didn't do it hard, I just did it lightly in the areas and brushed in the direction that it needed to be. So for the lines, I did a horizontal brush, and for the letters, I actually did little dabs. And I also swirled it a little bit. But as you can see, the black is hard to show up on dark areas. So that's why I say you might want to use a lighter color. Um, also, I have not tried it yet, and I may try it on another one. But I'm thinking I want to try and do spray paint and see how that works. Like maybe a silver spray paint or something and see if that um, shows up. But um, we'll see. Right now, this is just still the test phase. you know, for painting and everything. So once I figure out the painting technique, I'll let you guys know. But I, so far I like the acrylic look and the way that it turns out. The wood is nice um, as well. I mean, you can still see the numbers and everything, but it's a little bit harder to see the numbers when it gets to the tiny numbers. So that'll be something you'll have to decide. I will say when I put it on the shop that the acrylic will be more expensive because it does cost more to make the acrylic ones. And um, that's just the love-hate of the relationship when you're using cast acrylic. But um, I do like the acrylic much better. But you be the decision, or you decide. You know, you, you decide which ones you like. And hopefully this ruler will sum up some measurements for you guys as far as what an inch versus a foot means when you're scaling it down. And if you like it, I'll leave a coupon code below and get everything set up once I get things in the shop. This is showing you the side of it. It's 1 8 inch thick for the acrylic. And as you can see it up against where it's um, showing the numbers and stuff like that. So if you like it, like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, and comment below. If this is something that you think would be helpful, let me know. All right, talk to you later. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.